tip off just a moment away here. We got the 12 and 2 Portland Red Dragons against the 10 and 3 Brockport Golden Eagles. Man, this is going to be a good one. A standalone game in the SUNYAC today. He leads this team in blocks. He's actually first in the conference in blocks, top 25 in the nation in blocks. David Grady, the rim protector for Brockport, and he maybe altered that one by Lubin. That's now 0 for 3 on bunnies down low for Portland. Back in transition, Lubin gets back on defense, but Tony Arnold takes it to him and finishes through. David Grady is first in the SUNYAC in offensive rebounds per game. He has over three a game, so where they might lack a little bit of scoring from beyond the arc, Grady earns them a few extra possessions each game. As there's Cam Williams with a tough finish over the shot blocker in Grady. And then here they are matched up again. Grady against Costin. Another step back. Jay, Grady, no good. Rebound down to Grunder. Cam Williams looked like he wanted to pull up three. Cabrera is going to no look pass into Lubin. So the three point ball not falling here early for either team. Brockport 0 of 2. That is normal. They do not score much at all from outside. As there's a nice finish over contact again. Jacob Aka, the freshman. Portland only one of five from three here early. Cabrera is going to shoot a three. He's got it. Big shot. Portland just got the feeling that Portland really needed to see the ball go through the net. Austin Grunder coming off of a 32.13 rebound performance in only 30 minutes was taken out early. Last home game against Buffalo State, only with four points here early. Now make it six, because that's a nice find from Cam Williams. Looks like that ankle is all right. Williams back into the game. That was great defense, better offense. Now right back, the same matchup. Jones drives on Grunder, then kicks out to Rice. Rice, bottom! Grunder now with 10 and three through the first 14 and a half. Wallace got positioning on Cabrera again this time, and that's back-to-back -back baskets for Jihadi Wallace where he gets the better interior positioning. Cam Williams looked like he wanted a jack of three. He's not going to take that one. Our Curry will, though, and he'll catch! Kendall Arcuri for three! Down with the rebound, and here comes Tony Arnold. Interior pass into David Grady. Another steal by Kendall Arcuri. That's back-to-back -back steals by the freshman. Spot-up shooter. Williams, top of the key. Got it! Cam Williams gives Portland the lead. Under four minutes to go. Portland back in the zone. Constantly switching up defensive looks with Tom Spanbauer, trying to confuse the offense. Jihadi Wallace looked like he wanted to pull a three there. There's seven on the shot clock. Nice cut to the basket, though, by Makai Beckett. Man, this Brockport offense is so good at finding the right shot. Lubin struggling to find his offense. Beckett, he's got it. There's a three ball from Beckett. His first of the game, that's Brockport's only second three. And now it's 5-0 here to start the second half for Brockport. Portland's got to find their offense. Lubin's going to try another shot. He's open from three, and that one's a splash. Beckett, corner three. Bang! Williams was in his face, too. And now the lead is the largest of the game. It's out to 10. And then a turnover. And a foul against Isaiah Preston. Danger zone here for Cortland at home. These refs are letting a lot go right now. Here's Grunder off the inbound three. No good on that one. Cortland's offense has been ice cold here through seven minutes. And there's a spot up three ball. Bang it down, Makai Beckett. He's found his offense here in the second half. Beckett is now leading Brockport in scoring. He's up to 17 to lead everybody in a much needed timeout for Tom Spanbauer. This has gotten out of control. Played big minutes there in the first. His first miss on the day, he's now two of three.
Makai Beckett. Another three over Costin. Beckett has gone. Insane. In this second half. Beckett's up to 20 points now. I think the Cortland offense has completely lost its touch. Only three points here in the second half. And one for Jahadi Wallace. It is all going the Golden Eagles way here today. The lead is out to 20. Lead stays at 24. Under eight minutes to go here. If Portland wants to make a comeback, they gotta make a move quick. Brunder on the drive, lots of contact, nothing new, no call on the play. And Brockport down with the rebound and they will go through their methodical half court offense and get the best shot available. And that's a three ball. Good for Makai Beckett. Could not find the finish, and Greg Dunn is screaming at his guys to get back in transition defense. Just like that, Isaiah Austin gets on the board. Isaiah Austin now with five points. Here's Cabrera off the handoff from our Curry. Cabrera turns it over. That has just been a story of the night, and then whoa! One-handed slam. That was Monte Johnson. Had eight points last time out against Buff State. Hadn't made a three, though, in his past four games. So that, that three today breaks a long drought for our Curry from behind the arc. So you can see Tom Spanbauer keeping in our Curry and Williams trying to get them some offensive confidence here in the last few minutes. And there's a... I Was that the three-point shot that went in, or was it a tip-in? Because that ball hang on the rim forever it seemed like and then back down the floor quickly it's Cam Williams trying to get going in a blocking foul against Monte Johnson Brockport today shooting just under 50% from the field at 49.3% they've got pretty much not whatever they wanted as there's a nice three point shot by Shiflet 